Well, uh, there's a lot of unknowns, you know. Uh, I don't know a lot about our guys. They don't know a lot about me, and so it's a getting getting acquainted time. And uh, really looking forward to the first day of, of all-out practice on October 14th. But um, with the new start, new beginnings, there's there's new opportunity, and, and so we're optimistic that uh, we can bring a winning basketball program to Eastern Washington. I think uh, that I need to adjust to the players more than they need to adjust to me. And so that's where I'm spending a lot of time watching tape, learning about opponents, learning about my own team, and and. Uh, and so I'm not exactly sure exactly what the, the Eastern basketball team's gonna look like, but maybe maybe that's a strength. So so I'm I'm not I'm not sure I have the answer to that question for you. Oh well, we added we added two junior college transfers. Colin Shiverton from San Francisco City College is a very talented player and, and we had some really good guards. Uh, we had some some bigs, but maybe not that in between guy. And and so Colin is a six five, six six uh, scorer. So he's gonna help us a lot and then uh, Jordan Hickert is is a big who can really shoot the ball from outside, and that was a skill set that that we assessed and that we needed right off the bat. And so, I think those are the two guys that'll will be the new faces on the floor. Well, we're excited heading into this year. Uh, we know a little bit more about our team than we did a year ago. This time of year, um, basically have four starters back, one through four. Uh, got some young big guys uh, that have to come along, but uh, we really like our depth on the perimeter. Uh, in our experience overall, it's going to be a big change. You know, we, even our young guys, I don't think they're capable of doing the things BQ could do on, on either end. So, uh, you know, we're going to look to be a little more up tempo, use our athleticism a little bit, uh, and hope that our depth uh, can really help us out over 40 minutes uh, if we can have success playing a little bit faster. I think Kareem Jamar, number one, uh, probably would have been freshman of the year last year had he not missed those five games in the league. Uh, he, he's really had a great offseason. Of course, they know of Derek uh, Selvig, but he's really improved his body. He's still trim, thin, um, but his maturity, I think, has really improved, and that was a big key. Uh, some other newcomers, Kevin Henderson, freshman out of Auburn, Washington, really an explosive scorer, an explosive athlete, probably the most athletic wing we've had in a while at Montana. Uh, those are just a couple of guys to, to name. <laughs> you know, we just, we've always had good shooters at Montana. To help with that balance inside and out, and last year we didn't have that luxury. Um, we've had some guys improve their shooting uh, over the last, uh, you know, six eight months, uh, and we've recruited some guys, some younger guys that hopefully are going to be able to earn some playing time and get on the floor because they can knock down shots as well. Uh, we're going to be uh, a lot different team than a season ago. We went into that with a lot of experience, and this year we go in with very little. So. Uh, a lot of newcomers, a lot of excitement, uh, a lot of growing pains, uh, but uh, should be fun, should be entertaining, and uh, uh, hopefully those uh, youngsters will grow up quickly. Oh, yeah. Gabe Ron. Look at him as the logical successor to you know the role Cam played for us, but uh, you know Gabe has proven at this level to be one of the premier shooters in in not just the Western U.S. but the entire United States. And you look at the numbers that he's put up. Uh, over his career so far. So, you know, yeah, we're hoping on that. Stalin Saldivar, our point guard, finished, you know, uh, top 20 last year in the country in assists. And and so, you know, there's guys there to uh, certainly build on that uh, will uh, will uh, hopefully lead to success. It's so hard to say who's going to be the, the guy until they actually step out there on the court and start doing it against somebody else, you know. Uh, you know, there's seven new guys, and, uh, you know, we're counting on at least four or five of them to happen to play uh, important roles for us and stuff. So I don't know at this point, you know, I mean, yeah, I like all of them to be significant contributors. Uh, some are going to take advantage of that opportunity and some it's going to probably slip by them for a year. You know, we have a new campus that's uh, in Prescott, Arizona and has asked for us to play uh, basketball games down there. We did that last year. This year we're going back down there again to beautiful facility, Tim's Toyota Center, and uh, have an opponent like BYU show up uh, and, and play us in, in a 
pseudo home game for us is uh, really significant. And you know, you're talking about a team that went far into the NCAA tournament last year, received a lot of national recognition. It's a school that uh, is recognized quite heavily uh, with the LDS population in the state of Arizona, and so it you know it, it, it brings a, uh, a a great competitor to. Uh, uh, our region, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, it's a completely different team, and uh, we're gonna have to coach them a different way. We got eight new faces, six new scholarship guys, and their heads are spinning. So, it's uh, I was very fortunate last year stepping into what I did with uh, with the amount of seniors that we had. And it's it's gonna be a different year. It, it is definitely a different situation, um, but we still have have too many young guys that that weren't there when we won four games, and so they don't know what it's like to to have to go through that process and build something uh, like we have. And, and so that's our job as a staff is to educate them on, on where we've been and, and hopefully where we can get to. Just by I committee, know. you know, I, I, I don't, we don't have one guy in our program right now that can step up and, and make the plays that he did on a night in and night out basis. I think what we have is a group of guys that are capable of doing that uh, on several different nights, but uh, we're gonna have to do it by committee and, and I like I like where we're at in terms of our talent level. It's just very young and very inexperienced. Uh, um, you know, you mentioned Emmanuel has has a chance to to be that for us. I think uh, Paul Garnica uh, has matured a great deal. Uh, Tate Unruh. Um, you know, we've got three redshirt sophomores in our program with with Tate and Emmanuel and Connor Osborne. That uh, that uh, you know they're only sophomores on paper, but like you said, they've they've been here when we won the conference. They were here when we won 25 the year before, so they understand what it takes. Sure. You know, I feel good about it. Obviously, uh, last couple of years being down a couple scholarships and on probation last year, and we've done a great job academically and got our scholarships back. So I uh, feel good about where the program's headed, and and uh, feel like we got a chance to to be uh, hopefully near the top this year. And, and compete for a championship. Yeah, we're excited about Charles, you know, second team all league and was our leading scorer and uh, he exceeded every expectation we had for him last year. So, you know, we're expecting big things out of him and, and hopefully he can, uh, you know, be a first team all league guy this year and, and we need him to play well if we're going to have a good season. You know, just off of last year's team, Shehalis Tapscott, when he tore his uh, meniscus, we were one and five while he was out. and. Uh, you know, he's a leading rebounder coming back, so we're excited about him. Latif McMullen, a point guard we signed out of Citrus Community College, I think is going to have a big impact. Uh, and then Michael Hartoon, who was an all-state kid in, in Oregon, went to Washington State, transferred, sat out, and I think Michael's got a chance to be one of the top shooters in the league. And uh, excited about what he can add to our program. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, winning's a big issue always, and we feel like we're in position this year to make a move in the conference and. Uh overall our overall performance so we're, we're excited about it we have our most experience that we've had along with our best players and the best schedule we've had you know last year Jackson Carvajal started for us as a freshman we think he'll hit the off guard spot we think he'll be a good player uh, we have a transfer kid from UC Riverside uh, Connor Vedito big strong 6'9 270 we think will be a good player uh, Walter Jackson returns you got a few votes for defensive player of the year last year uh, Heath Hoffman had some good games for us. And then, you know, we have uh, five newcomers. We have nine returning and five newcomers. We're pretty happy with all the newcomers. Um, the four of them are JC guys and then the high school kids, Dylan Garrity from Huntington Beach. Uh, the four JC guys really like their basketball intellect. They've come in and picked things up and think they'll, they'll have an effect. Anthony Cosentino, Joe Everhart. Jordan Estrada. You know, we, we are excited. There's no question. We uh, we feel like we've got the pieces we need to have a chance to be successful. And uh, you know, knock on wood, we got to stay. Uh, you know, obviously stay healthy. Uh, if we do that, then I feel like we've got a chance to uh, to be successful in our conference. And uh, it's nice to have a year where you've got uh, we've got quite a few veterans back. And and last year with the injuries is what it, it enabled us to really give some of the younger kids, some of the freshmen, uh, a lot, probably more minutes than what they were going to get. And so uh, we're hoping that that uh, will make them better for this season. So uh, with the young guys getting better and, and the veterans that we have coming back, uh, we feel pretty good about it. You know, we feel like we're, uh, we're pretty solid in the post. Uh, we lost Trevor, and Trevor uh, did a great job for us. And, you know, he played four years, and uh, it's hard when you lose that, that veteran leadership. But, uh, we really feel like uh, you know Kyle Tresnick has made uh, really good gains uh, this spring and summer. He's gotten a lot better. Uh, the kid that uh, transferred, uh, Frank Otis, 
uh, got better during his red shirt year. Uh, strong, real physical kid, and he's got a chance to help us at the four spot. Uh, Darren Mahoney's back, and uh, he can play two positions. And, and Mo's just a guy that you, you win games with. He does all the little things that, uh, that help you win. And, understands our system obviously and uh, Byron Fulton um, had a nice freshman year last year and he's made some great strides uh, in the spring and summer and then we redshirted a 6'10 kid out of uh, Omaha last year uh, who's ready to step in and uh, give us some positive minutes too so we feel like we've got some pretty good depth there this year which we haven't had in the past uh, and hopefully that'll, that'll pan out. We've Damien, uh, he, just what he does, I mean he is the hardest working kid I've been around in 20 years uh, he's changed his body a little bit. He's gotten stronger. Uh, you know, he lived in the weight room when his foot was broke, and uh, you know he's benching over 300 now and put on some good weight. Uh, but you know, my expectations are for him to just be Damien, and uh, uh, you know we've got some pretty nice uh, pieces around him. Uh, it's not like you know he needs to feel like he needs to carry us night in and night out. I think the big challenge for us is to gonna. Uh, we, we need to have balance, and we got a chance to have good balance. But uh, Damien's ready to go, and, and he's had a great summer. Uh, he's got cleared to play May 1st, and uh, we've had to actually kind of get him out of the gym once in a while to, to make sure he keeps his body fresh. But uh, I look for Damien to have a real good season. Uh, I think early on he might be chomping at the bit a little bit. We might have to settle him down a little bit. Uh, I, I look for Damien to, to, to have an outstanding season.